What's the calm before the storm here at NBA Summer League? Day one opens tonight. Uh, just a couple of games, a couple of former next stars, RJ Hampton and Didi Luzada on the slate. But it all fires up tomorrow with heaps of Aussies and NBL guys in action, including this guy, DJ Vasiljevic of the Sydney Kings here with the Phoenix Suns, mate. Good to see you, Summer League. No, it's good to you know be here. I mean, grateful and very thankful for the opportunity, and I just can't wait to show what I can do, but also help the Phoenix Suns any way to get a you know get a championship out of the summer league. And um, it's like you got half the NBL on your squad <laughs> at the Phoenix Suns. Joe Luwalachul, Duop Wreath. Uh, you guys have just come from the mini camp. Tell us about how all that played out. No, it was an unreal experience. Um, first day you walk in, you don't know anyone. Now, five days later, you're like brothers. Like, we have a really tight culture at the Phoenix Suns. Kind of reminds me of what it was like at the Sydney Kings when we had all these new, you know, new coaching staff, new players, and boom, we were able to form and obviously win a championship. So, no, it's been unreal. You know, I'm very thankful. It's always five-star treatment here in the, uh, in the NBA world. We're at the win, best hotel, casino on the strip. You got the beautiful view. Uh, you could get used to this? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you don't get tired of it. It's beautiful. Um, got a little remote and you know, opens the drapes in the morning. <laughs> beautiful view. Um, but yeah, it's just unreal. Just it's really hot though. That's the one thing I can't really stand is the heat. So, but it's just amazing to walk around at night, just see how busy it is. You know, slots, pokies, machines everywhere you go. No, it's just amazing. Yeah, it's not quite this hot in Greensboro right now. I don't live in Green, but I live in Werribee, so like Tarnit area. So either way, where you go, one or two degrees up or down, but it's not as warm as this. <laughs> uh, so at the mini camp, you obviously played really well. You, that's why you're here on the roster um, ready for this week. Tell us a bit about how you went, how Big Joe and Duop went the last week. Yeah, Duop and uh, Joe did really well. I mean, you know, they played their role perfectly, set screens, roll. The biggest thing they took away was they could stretch the floor as well, obviously shooting the three ball, and that kind of helped, you know, when we were scrimmaging, those teams would win because they would be able to stretch the floor. So, I and mean, myself, you know, just do what I do, shoot the ball when I'm open, play defense, and uh, just be a professional. Did you get a bit of a sense of what the rotation, what the depth chart might look like in terms of how the week might play out? A little bit. Uh, the coaches don't really talk to you about it. It's more of the agent side because he goes back and forth with the front office and the coaching staff. But again, again, this is all about being professional, helping your team, you know, any way you possibly can. And obviously, as I said, try and compete for the Summer League Championship. Uh, you've been in the news a little bit lately. The interest from Partizan, of course, in, in Serbia. What's the latest with that kind of setup? Uh, no, nah, my buyout date is over, so I'll be, if this, no NBA deals work out or anything, I'll be returning for the Sydney Kings for next season. You guys are reloading. Reloading. Jarrell Martin off to Maccabi Tel Aviv. No doubt you'll miss him. Derek Walton Jr. just recently announced. What do you think of these last couple of moves? I'm um, actually really happy for Jarrell. Um, he definitely deserves that yearly gig with Maccabi. And nah, Derek Walton, I can't wait to, you know, have him in the league and step into Jalen Adams' shoes. Um, yeah, he's, I already talked to him already. He seems like a cool dude. He has nothing but positive things to say about Sydney so far. All right, so tomorrow night when you guys roll out, you're going to be the last game on the opening Friday of the Summer League against the Lakers, which means it's going to be... Thomas and Maxson will be full. It'll be noisy, it'll be crazy. LeBron might be courtside, having made his way up from LA. And, and you're going to be out there if you get some run or in the warm-ups, however it plays out, you're going to have the logo on your chest. You're literally at the kind of doorstep of your dreams um what what's the mentality the feeling about this situation uh first of all obviously i've said it but i'm very thankful and grateful for the opportunity um i think it's just it's just experience it my dad keeps saying that if you play don't play go out there and experience it learn kind of take things um into your knowledge and you can kind of translate it with the kings or you know as you move forward down the line so i can't wait there'll be a lot of you know nba superstars obviously the phoenix suns you know d book and, and cp3 and a couple of other guys so i actually look forward to it. i can't wait to get out there and hoop awesome man i'll catch you post game good luck thank you i appreciate it